Welcome to the Vector Garden. In this video, we're going to solve several issues we can have with text objects. So this is the file. It's a map and there are several text objects in it. And you see different fonts used to mark different sections in this map. So let's take a look at the file. I'm going to open it like so. And you see several missing fonts and they have all been replaced by Myriad in this case. So we can't actually see which fonts have been used and we need to sort that because we do not have the fonts. We will not get the fonts. We want to use other fonts and we want to keep the sections, these objects mark. So we have to assign different fonts, but it should be the same areas. So first of all, we have to sort that. And these are just a few objects, but just imagine you have a lot more. So then you want to have some automatic solution and we can have that. So first of all, although we do not see them, the formatting is kept. So. We have this text object. You see the the font is missing, but you still can go to select same and then font family. And you see just those two objects get selected. And what you can then do is go to the layers panel and maybe make a new layer and move them up there like that. So let's take the next one and select same font family and you see you can also narrow that down to the style and the size and whatnot. But in this case we just need this and make another layer and put that up here. So like so. So now we've got that one sorted. The next thing is we want to fix the text over set. So you see there's this little red plus sign and it's over set text because the creator of this file has used area text. So in a map, that is not a wise decision. In a map, you would rather use point text. And that's because when you have a point text, so no, ma no matter how long the text is and no matter what font it is, you cannot have overset text. It will always be on that line, on that one line. So you have to change something and you see it won't get overset text. And in this case, it has happened because it's area text. So what we can do is select all of them. They are all area texts and then we could convert them to point text. So let's make a copy of this and let's see what happens. So when we go to type and then convert this to point type, then you see it contains overset text and well, that will go missing and it will be lost. So no, I don't want to do that. So what we would need to do first is, you know, make this text visible. And what we could do is select them all and then make them visible and you go that by going to type and then area type options and then turn on the auto size and you see that this makes them visible. But as you can also see, it has turned them into a two line text object, which you might not want. So you might want to have that in one line before turning it into a point text object. And there is a solution to that. We cannot make it auto adjust to the width, but what we could do, of course, is first make all this text smaller. So let's just select all of that and only the text, of course. Let's go to the character panel and just make it smaller like so. And you see all of the overset is now gone. And what we can then do is again, select them all and then go to type and convert to point type. And there's no more warning. So we have all the text now 
And then since we have sorted all of these text objects on layers, we can then continue and do the styling of the text in the shape that we want to have there.